What's up everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this Peterson Piranha trailer tail light. Now it's going to come in two variations. We're going to have a chrome bezel around one of them. The other one is just going to be black around the outside. Either way, whichever one you go with, it's going to be LED. It's going to look really nice on your trailer, especially if you're replacing those old incandescents that heat up and wear out pretty easily. This one you're not going to, about, you're going to have to worry about replacing for a while. Let's check it out. You're going to have 10 LEDs in total and they're going to be white with the red polycarbonate cover over it that's what's giving it that red shade they're pretty bright this is in the middle of the day you can still see it just fine so it's going to be even brighter at night as far as size go it's going to be seven and a half inches and that's from the top of the bezel to the bottom of the bezel and three and a quarter inches wide so just keep that in mind where you're going to put it on your trailer make sure you got enough space like we do here just to put it in the proper spot as far as install is gonna go, it's pretty simple. It's a three wire install. So if you're replacing one of your lights, it's most likely gonna have the exact same wires in there. You just have to cut those and hook it back up. Check out how we did it. Went ahead and removed the old light. It was looking kind of nasty, so we wanted to get it off of there. Now we're gonna come back and strip the wires, get this ready to add our new light. So just got a wire stripper here. Gonna go with each one of them. And just pull that wire back. like that on each one of them. With our replacement light here, you see it's listed what each function of the wires do, so that's good to pay attention to to hook up on the trailer side. If you're unsure of your trailer wires, if they're different colors, you can always go through and test it to make sure you get the right ones. But according to our new light, the white one's gonna be ground. And we're gonna snip off the end here because we're just gonna touch it right to this ground. It's grounded inside. The black one is gonna be the tail lights. So we'll match that up with the black one on here. And then the red one is gonna be the stop and turn. So that's gonna to go to the red one on here. So I got heat shriek butt connectors to use and that's how we're gonna make our connections. It's gonna go through and attach each one and then come back and seal it up. But first we gotta cut off that ground so it matches up with this one. So I got my cutters, let's come back, cut that off. Now get the wire strippers and get that exposed and then we can make our connections. Back on the trailer side, I went ahead and twisted the exposed wire just so it gets a little thinner and it's easier to put into the butt connector. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp these sides first. That way it's good to go when I get that light. So just come back, insert that in there, put this in the groove and crimp it down. Just like that. Now I got my light. We're gonna go ahead and make those connections on that side. Same thing as we did before. We're gonna make all three of those connections. We went ahead and heat shrink those butt connectors around those connections. That way they're nice and sealed. Tuck them, tuck them back in there. And now we can remount our light. So we're gonna, it looks like it lines up just fine with all the pre-existing holes. So we can just use those to install the light. Now we're gonna use the existing hardware that was on our old light. If you don't have existing hardware, you're gonna to have to get your own that fits in there. Just make sure you get the appropriate kind that will seal it up to your trailer. We got that one, and then we're gonna do the same process for all the other ones here. Now this light comes in two different ways. You can get it without the chrome border. So then at this point, you'd be done. You'd wanna test your lights. But if you do have the chrome border, you just put that on now. It snaps into place. That easy. Now I'm up front. We're gonna go ahead and test the lights out. We're gonna fire it up. Looks like our brake lights are working just fine. We're gonna do our left turn. Looks like it's working just fine. And then just straight up tail lights. Looks like all the connections are good. Overall, I think it's gonna look nice on your trailer, whatever its scheme is. If you got that nice chrome, I like the way it pops out on our trailer here. Even without it, it looks nice and it doesn't stick out too far. The LEDs are always a good replacement for old incandescent lights, so definitely an upgrade. They're gonna last way longer. You won't have to replace these again for a long time. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped. 